my favorite part of the morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm like really trying to be in my health and wellness era, so I'm gonna be like working out this weekend and just documenting some of the stuff that I'm eating. But it is such a nice day. The sun is shining and it's actually warm, which is nice because it's been freezing here and like extremely windy to the point where I'm just like not wanting to leave the house. I'm like wearing Uniqlo heat tech under everything that I wear. Yeah, enjoying some coffee. I got a really late start today because I ended up watching a movie. I watched Batman, like the Joker one. I forget what it's called. Is that one The Dark Knight? But anyways, it was really good. I ended up staying up really late. So I did not have my early morning like I thought I was going to. Currently exporting a video. It's the What I Spend in a Week, which I did differently than I normally do my videos. I'm just experimenting a little bit, but also eating breakfast. This is my go-to breakfast lately. It's just oatmeal, peanut butter, hemp seeds, and almond milk. Pretty unesthetic, but it's really yummy. I just love adding peanut butter to it. It just makes it 10 times better. Originally I was gonna work out earlier, but I wanted to make some edits with this video, so I came back into my room to edit, and now we're here. But I think I'm gonna work out after I eat this. Time to work out. I'm really excited about this workout because I really got some inspiration from this, um, this person that I saw on Instagram. His Instagram is Rob Suave. He has this program called Better Booty Program. I just find that so funny. It's like better booty, better booty. I just feel like my butt has been craving to be burned. I don't know if you ever feel like that, but I just stopped prioritizing my butt or like I should start saying my glutes. I just haven't cared to do hip thrusts. I used to be so motivated to do that stuff. I like had gotten to a good point of like really training my lower body and I was gaining a lot of muscle. And then after I like lost consistency, it kind of deflated and went back to normal. And then I'm like, darn it. I kind of fucked up there. So I was just really unmotivated to do that again because I was starting from scratch basically. It just feels nice to feel strong in your lower body. So I'm gonna be doing a really good leg and glute workout today. So I'm gonna go through some dumbbell exercises as well as some barbell exercises. So if you end up wanting to try any of this, it'll be a little bit easier because I'm actually gonna try to explain it. I like dumbbell stuff. I feel like there are moves especially that are less harsh on my back. With that said, let's get into the workout. I'm gonna start with the band. For the longest time, like I had done banded walks where you go into like a squat, but then that guy, he was saying it's good to start off by not going into a squat, just do walks like this, where you're just keeping it taut. There's just supposed to be like a slight bend in your knees. All right, so the first exercise is gonna be dumbbell RDLs, remaining deadlifts. I'm gonna try my best to show you and explain how to do this. I usually keep my feet about yay width apart. You're gonna wanna keep the weights close to your body like when you're going down and you wanna put a slight bend in your knees, keep a neutral spine so there's no bending or wonkiness. You're basically going to just hinge at the hips and go down about halfway down your shin and then come back up. And you're gonna feel that in your glutes. And you wanna make sure that you're keeping your head naturally down this way. Don't be looking up. So I'm gonna do four by 10. favorite moves just because it's very nice to your lower back and if I ever do regular deadlifts especially with a barbell that has been the time where I've literally hurt my back and I just can't trust myself to do the form correctly even if I have someone helping me it's just not comfortable for me so I just decided the RDLs are probably the only thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna be doing four by ten reverse lunges with the barbell but you could also use dumbbells either one you can start from the stance here and just take one leg back stand back up So this next move is something that I just started doing, so I'm not sure if my form is perfect, but try my best here. <laughs> Basically hold on to one weight. It's gonna be this like step up situation, but I have nothing to hold on to here. You're gonna keep your body angled like this way and just go up on one leg, come down, just like kind of land on your tippy toes. Like. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have most of your weight like on your heels so that you're pressing it in, just like most butt exercises you're pressing in with your heels. Something I've been really wanting to try are these Bulgarian split squats, but you do 10 with the weights. And you drop the weights and you do 10 body weight. And this is supposed to be like a very intense burner. 
Well guys, split squats were something that I used to do wrong because I didn't realize how you're supposed to fall into the bench. So you're gonna wanna have your foot back like this. But the thing is you wanna have your knee perfectly parallel to your foot. You're gonna be like leaning in backwards rather than going straight down because this is gonna be quad dominant. But if you go back here, you put the weight on this foot right here on the heel and you're gonna feel it in that glute. The last thing I'm doing is hip thrust. What you're gonna wanna do is have your feet out so that your legs are at a 90, 90 degree angle. When you come up, there's a 90 degree angle right there. You're just gonna thrust up. I think I'm gonna try doing four sets of 10. Keep in mind it's better to go heavier and like train till failure. I put 50, 85, 115. So I think it's probably safe to do 10 reps, but then I also add the little pulses at the end. It's like just burning your butt to the max. Pilates class at 10. It is currently 8 a.m. but I'm gonna make a little breakfast. I want to share with you guys this thing that I've been loving on the days that I don't make oatmeal. I've been obsessed with making these little McMuffins. It's like a chicken turkey bacon situation. Never mind, we don't have any turkey bacon left. So I actually use butter just because, you know, the extra fat is not gonna kill me. And honestly, this stuff sucks. I just use my egg with salt and pepper. Pretty sure people say that if you use salt during the cooking process, it like dries out the egg, but if you just do like a runny yolk, it doesn't really affect it in my opinion. It's literally so simple, but so good. Maturing is putting onion on almost everything because you finally realize that it really makes or breaks every single meal. Well, it doesn't make or break it, it's just such a good addition. I'm on my way to Pilates now, I'm using Class Pass. I got some free credits, they sent me an email. They're like, we miss you, come back. And obviously it's a marketing tactic, but hey, it worked. I have used Class Pass on the East Coast when I went to Philly and New York, and I really loved it. Tried some really cool classes, I tried Solid Core. Basically like all the fitness classes that are on Class Pass, there's such a limited amount in my actual city, like in my town. So kind of have to drive a distance to get there. If you haven't tried Class Pass, I highly recommend it because you get a free month and I think that can come out to maybe three or four classes total since most of the classes are around seven to eight credits. I feel like fitness classes, they just really push you out of your comfort zone. They're very challenging and you can't, you don't really feel like giving up on yourself, especially in that environment. I think I'll be able to put like a little sign up for the free trial thing in my description box. So feel free to click on that and use that if you want to sign up for a free month of credits. But yeah, I've been really loving it and this is like my, maybe my sixth, fifth or sixth class total. This longer drive is like my time to jam out. I've been loving listening to Players by Coilere. just bought these socks for $18. I thought they were 14, but that's what happens when you don't ask. Okay, I decided to 
decided to come to Whole Foods. By the way, the class was so good. That really hurt. Like, I was trembling, quaking, to be honest. There are, like, two specific things that I actually wanted to get here. It's the Mykonos vegan cream cheese. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I just walked into Whole Foods. There's some things that I've been wanting to try which you can't really get anywhere else and Since I was in the area, I figured I'd just stop in. This is like absurdly expensive for what I got But I'm really excited to try it because I'd seen Claudia Zalewski talk about the Mykonos. Also Jen M She really loves this vegan cream cheese. I eat dairy There's really no point in me getting vegan cream cheese But I just really wanted to try this and I thought I'm just gonna treat myself. This is like cashew milk cream cheese and I love cashew milk ice cream, so. And then the other thing that I went in there for was to find this, which is called Malk. It's almond milk without any fillers, gum, or oil. Obviously, you could just make your own milk at that point, but just haven't felt like doing that. I use a bunch of different almond milks, and I'm pretty sure most of them have gum in it. It's not really bad for you. It's just if your stomach has a hard time digesting gum, then that's when you have, like, a little bit of pain or discomfort. I'm pretty sure it's not like it's actually bad for your health. Don't quote me on this. I thought this would be nice to have in my matcha lattes. I had to go look at the Olipop selection, because I normally get Olipop from Target or Walmart. I mean Target or Safeway. I saw this flavor, which I'd never seen at Target, so I had to get it. It's the banana cream flavor. Talked about Olipop before, I'm pretty sure, but I just love it so much. The strawberry vanilla flavor is my favorite, but I love banana anything. So literally did not need any of that stuff. I just thought it'd be fun to try. And all three of those things together cost me like 15 bucks. I barely said anything about the Pilates class while I was in there, but it was really good. I was struggling, honestly. Like, my abs are not worked very often so it's very difficult for me to use my core that's something i'm working on um but i'm gonna go home i'm going to probably shower when i get home and make myself a little matcha latte and some food it's 12 o'clock so i thought i would just make a matcha latte it's not too late for me to have caffeine but we're approaching the edge. This one and the Emma Chamberlain one are the ones I've been using. This one's really good. I'm just going to use this one today. You can find this one on Amazon. I'm going to put in like a drop or two of the stevia. Even though the almond milk is vanilla flavor, I'm still going to put in just a little quarter teaspoon of vanilla because I just love vanilla. Wow, that's really good. There's no way that I could come home and not try this immediately. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of this on some Dave's Killer Bread. Just as like a little snack until I figure out what I wanna make for lunch. Hmm. Peculiar. Obviously you can't expect this to taste like dairy, but there's almost something throwing me off because it has like almost a sweet undertone. I still like it though. Like I'll definitely eat this. Obviously I paid for it. I decided I'm just gonna have some leftover salad with chicken in it. This is the gorgonzola salad from Trader Joe's. It's my mom's favorite and now my favorite. Mm -hmm. 